All righty. Good day, folks. Thank you for joining our Nicaragua Living and Opportunities Live session today. We have a full session planned for you all with all of your travel needs to know, as well as some opportunities at Grand Pacifica, our property down there in Nicaragua for ECI development. We're just gonna give folks a few seconds here to sign on. I see a bunch already signing in. If you have been with us before for a webinar, you know the drill, go ahead and find that Q&A on your Zoom and let us know where you're coming in from today. If you're new here with us, you may need to have your Zoom restarted just to have it updated. Uh, but if you can see that Q&A button, go ahead and let us know what part of the world you are joining us in from today. I see James here from Valrico. Hey, James. Daryl in Mexico. Oh, nice, Daryl. I'm glad that you folks are back on this side of the world. Uh, Tanya coming in from LA. Shirley, Canada. Brendan in Texas. Brenda, sorry, in Texas. Uh, we have an anonymous attendee coming in from Canada. Tony from Springfield, Missouri. James coming in from California. Tammy in Florida. Angie, hey Angie, coming in from El La Las Vegas. Uh, James coming in from South Carolina. Karen from, uh, Cal am I pronouncing that right? Carlsbad, there we go. Land of the Bazaar. <laughs> Uh, Paolo coming in from Vancouver, Canada, Joe from Washington State, John from Canada, and John coming in from Oro Valley, Arizona. Thank you folks for joining us today. We do have a diverse group. Looks like we have a lot of folks joining in from North America. Uh, but as I mentioned, we have a full session for y'all. So let's jump in and get started. Uh, just a little bit about us at ECI. We are a development company based primarily in Latin America. We recently acquired property in the Azores, Portugal, and Europe. Really excited for that. Uh, but we are a development company that uh, provides communities, uh, hospitality, and investment opportunities for folks looking at opportunities overseas. Uh, we have been in business for about 26, 27 years now and provide, like I mentioned, intentional communities for adventure souls out there looking for investment in uh, this region. My name is Michael Fuller. I am the marketing manager here at ECI Development. I've been with the company a little uh, over a year now, almost two years actually. Um, and have had the pleasure to travel to all of our countries that we are currently developing in and uh, um, different places globally to talk about our products and giving the storytelling of our amazing opportunities that we have overseas. Um, joining me today is my lovely host, Leslie Lawrence. Leslie, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hello, everyone. I am actually coming to you live from Nicaragua. I moved here from the island of Amherst, Key in Belize. I moved here in May of 2021. So I love enjoying this country and I especially love sharing it with other people. So I'm excited to co-host today. But um, yeah, you're gonna see, you obviously see me with some puppies there and I have a nice little surprise for you. Guess what? I have another itty bitty with me today. She's in my lap and hopefully she'll be really quiet. I just had a new foster dog dropped off today. so. Um, there's some great organizations here. If you're animal lovers, there's a lot of wonderful organizations to volunteer with. I will talk about that, I'm sure, later on. But we're excited to talk about Nicaragua and the lifestyle here today. Awesome. Thank you, Leslie. So I do have a few polls for you folks today. We're going to launch poll number one. Have you been to Nicaragua? So let me go ahead and launch this poll. You should see a pop-up on your screen that you can select some options from. Alrighty, I see some folks already selecting. Perfect. It looks like a lot of folks have not been to Nicaragua as yet, but are excited and planning their trip soon enough. Uh, and following that, we do have some folks that have visited before or are undecided. So I'm hoping from this live session that we do convince you to join us. We actually have a, some amazing travel packages as a part of today's webinar um, on some of the opportunities and some real estate options available for you. Alrighty, 
let's jump ahead. So a little bit about Nicaragua. Uh, it is the largest country in Central America, about 130,000 kilometers squared or just over 50,000 square miles. Um, it is one of the countries in Central America with the largest population, 6.6 .6 million people, mostly residing in the urban areas. The official language of Nicaragua is Spanish with uh, some more indigenous languages spoken in the rural areas. I do want to mention, though, based on my last couple of trips down to Nicaragua, I do not speak any Spanish, maybe a couple of words, uh, but it was so easy for me to get around. The locals are super friendly and wanting to help out at any chance they get um, in getting folks around uh, and to their destination. So if you don't speak Spanish, not to worry, you can get around in the country. It has a growing economy uh, and tourism as the second largest industry there in the country. Uh, so really great opportunities, again, for folks looking for that investment opportunity um, and wanting that return on their investment. Uh, the country is known for affordable cost of living. Again, based on my experience, and I'm sure for you, Leslie, you do have some of your own. It is super inexpensive to get around and live in Nicaragua. Uh, I believe my travel budget, apart from hotel and tours, was maybe around 500 US dollars, and I came back with a ton of change. <laughs> Uh, so really easy to get around there um, and finding affordable activities and things to do. It also has a wide range of natural attractions. Uh, we're going to get into some of those tours in just a bit here and things that you can do, uh, inclusive of some volcanoes that you can actually climb up and experience. Alrighty, so to talk about some of those travel experiences to be had, uh, these are my top picks of things that you must put on your bucket list when venturing off to Nicaragua. I know volcano boarding may seem intimidating, but as soon as I heard that was an option to do, I said, sign me up and let's do it. We actually went with Leslie last year uh, to get this done. It was really, really fun. We climbed up about 700 meters or about a little over 2000 feet um, on this vol volcano. If you can picture yourself being on an alien planet or what the movie set of being on the moon would look like, this looked exactly like that. Um, and in about 30 seconds to a minute, you're sliding down a volcano and, and it's really, really fun to do. Um, it's definitely one of the more adventurous things to do in Nicaragua, uh, but definitely one to check out when it is available, depending on the season. Surfing has also become quite popular and becoming more and more popular in Nicaragua as more surf breaks are being discovered. In fact, at Grand Pacifica, we have about 3.5 miles of beachfront property with two amazing surf breaks, one for intermediate surfers, uh, as well as one for novice surfers. I decided to add this on to my bucket list as well. Um, I, saw, I saw the opportunity. I was like um, in Belize, we have about two feet waves. So let's try this out in Nicaragua um, and got on a board. I do have a couple of embarrassing photos and videos of me tumbling around a couple of times, uh, but finally got up on that board and surfed for the first time in my life. So you can definitely take that on as an opportunity when you're down there as some travel experiences. How about your topics, Leslie? All right. Well, as he mentioned, I did participate in volcano boarding. Um, I will tell you a funny story with that. I don't know what I was thinking. I really didn't get the memo about what I should bring, dress, anything. I was just like, okay, I'll go. So I showed up and then quickly saw, well, I wasn't really prepared. I didn't realize you hiked to the top. I guess I thought they just dropped you off at the top of the volcano. I'm not real sure, but it was a nice hike. Like you said, the the scenery was very different, different directions you look. Of course, there are volcanoes all around Nicaragua, which are fun to explore. But we got to the top, and then you literally just sit on this little board and push yourself off. So it was quite an experience. Um, I would say bring water and snacks. I did not, um, but definitely you should give it a try. Um, some of the things I love to do, though, I, I am adventurous, but I also like some more normal, calm things to experience. I love going to Granada. It's one of my favorite kind of weekend trips to do. Um, there's a cool boat tour. It's called the Las Islas, which is like the small islands. And in Lake Nicaragua, there are literally like, you know, 300 plus tiny islands 
all around the lake. And so you can get on this little boat, and, you know, lots of different birds and things. I'm not a bird watcher, so I don't know the names, but they're really cool. Um, I love experiencing that. And you go around and you see all these different islands and homes on the islands. And then for me, because I am a huge animal lover, but one of my favorite all times are monkeys. There is a monkey island that you get to go to. And there's a couple of little monkeys that hang out and live there. And they come down and kind of greet you and interact. And it's just a highlight for me of the Los Angeles tour. Another go-to, and you'll kind of see over there, the White Cathedral in Leon. It's one of those things that people see the picture and then recognize it. So my advice is to go at sunset because it is spectacular. You take a tour, you can walk up to the top of the roof and you can literally, you take your shoes off, you walk your foot on the limestone and just 360 views. You can see all around the city, the different volcanoes in the distance, but at sunset, some of the beautiful photography, it is the place to go for sure. So those are some of my highlights. I remember being at Leon and, and touring these historic sites. And I think the, the most thing that I was excited about was the food. There's so many vendors for food that you can find almost in every corner while in these, uh, the, these cities. Uh, so that's definitely one of my highlights too. I forgot to add that one in. What was your favorite food that you tried in Nicaragua? I believe it was called Vigoron. Um, if you like starch, <laughs> it's definitely a go-to. Uh, it has um, yuca and um, something called chicharron, which is um, uh, like fried skins, different animals, and a bunch of pickled vegetables. Amazing dish. I do see some folks uh, using the raise hand uh, option here. If you do have a comment or question, do find that Q&A section and you can uh, add in your comments and questions there. All righty, we do have a second poll here. What type of traveler are you? So let me go ahead and launch this poll. You should see another question pop up on your screen for you to answer. What type of traveler are you? All righty, we're getting some answers in the door. Awesome. It, it's looking like folks are mostly looking for relaxation or a combination of every type of travel experience. We love that here at ECI. We, we definitely are planning our communities for the adventurous soul out there uh, with many, many options for you to have. We're definitely going to get into some of those travel uh, packages and experiences that you can have in just a bit here. So definitely look out for those in a couple of slides. Now, I know the news loves to sensationalize things to get viewers on their platforms, uh, but we do want to debunk some of the common misconceptions that you may be hearing out there. Of course, do not just listen to us, do your own due diligence and research uh, to find out opinions from other people who have been in the country. We're actually gonna share a really great article with you all at the end of this webinar so that you can read up on another person's perspective on their travel to Nicaragua. But Nicaragua is actually one of the most safest countries in the entire world uh, with a low crime rate. Uh, the country has a growing tourism industry. Back in 2019, seeing 1.7 million visitors to the country. And post-COVID, we are also seeing those numbers going back up again. Uh, so really great numbers there for the tourism industry in Nicaragua, especially with more and more tours and experiences, restaurants coming up and about. Uh, I do believe there is still ongoing a Florida Canyon tour. Is that correct, Leslie? Yes, actually, I finally got to go experience that. I had lived here for quite a while and it's never made it over to the Florida Canyon tour. But we had a group of some clients here in January and we went on the VIP tour, which I highly recommend. Um, you really learn a lot about the history of course, Florida, Florida Canyons run here in the country, and you get some kind of sneak peeks behind the scenes, some really cool stuff, and you have a tasting. Um, so I highly recommend doing that tour. Leon is a quick trip, a day trip from Grand Pacifica. It's about an hour uh, plus, a little more to go to the Florida Canyon uh, factory tour. But definitely something you should add to your to-do list. I, on my trip this year, I'm definitely adding that one on. <laughs> 
Uh, Nicaragua is also known for a strong infrastructure, well-developed transportation system, and modern healthcare facilities. In fact, a lot of folks are taking their trip uh, to Nicaragua for their healthcare reasons, knowing they will be met with professionals and adequate healthcare. Uh, the government is also very supportive of foreign investment and have implemented several many initiatives to get that going. Uh, we will be talking just a bit about residency options in, in, in a bit here um, and, and investment options that you can get into, uh, as well as Nicaragua has a stable political climate with a government that has made significant efforts to have a stable and secure country. So definitely wanted to debunk some of those misconceptions that you may be hearing out there um, and look forward to that link that we will provide at the end of this webinar. Just to give you folks a bit from our own clients, uh, we do have Frank mentioning that our facility is lovely and appears to be poised for great things. Their commitment to community and environmental service is outstanding. I know Leslie mentioned about the uh, project with the animals in Nicaragua, Nika Love, um, as well as several many different corporate social responsibility activities that we do on site at Grand Pacifica. Uh, one of my favorites is the turtle release. I believe yesterday there was one. Uh, we do have some of our own teammates visiting the country at the moment that got to experience that. Mark mentions that I recently traveled to Nicaragua and was pleasantly surprised on how safe and secure I felt through my trip. From the moment I arrived, I felt welcomed by the friendly locals and was never concerned about my security. My one tip for you, as with anywhere in that, that you're traveling in the world, do read up on the laws and regulations of that country. And of course, you know, stay safe, don't venture off in the in the dark or alone in anywhere that may seem sketchy. Yeah, and Michael, I'll add a few things there about the safety and security. You know, I get asked that question a lot. Um, I am single, you know, female, honestly, moved here. Um, I know my mom, some of her friends were a little concerned at first, but I agree with, I feel completely safe. Uh, I do drive around the country several hours, you know, go explore by myself. I've never not felt safe here in the country. So I usually tell people, you know, if you've never been to Nicaragua, get on the plane, come experience it for yourself. You know, you'll see like everyone that has been here, the, the locals are so friendly and so helpful. They're willing to jump in. I'm like for my Spanish is pretty limited. I, I know I can read it and understand it. And if they speak slow enough, I'm good. But I haven't actually spoken in so many years, like 20, probably 25 plus years. So uh, that was a big part of me wanting to come here was to regain my Spanish, you know, language and try to use it more. So I'm loving, you know, learning, learning, relearning Spanish, I guess you could say. Um, I do joke about the first time I, I came here, I had a, probably my not finest moment in a grocery store because I was in the laundry detergent aisle and I guess I just I don't know what I was thinking I am in a Spanish speaking country but I, I didn't recognize things and things were in Spanish and I kind of had a meltdown for a minute like oh my goodness like how do I buy my laundry detergent but I will say after spending time and finding out the places to shop that's another question we get asked all the time there at Grand Pacifica a lot of people come into Managua to shop. There's also a great little tienda right outside the gates. It has just about everything you can need. And they're super helpful. They actually help me a lot. You know, they'll, they'll order or get things that you want, particular items, carry those for you. So um, just everybody's super helpful. And I just love, you know, come, just come and let us show you what we see. You're going to definitely enjoy the time. Awesome. Thank you, Leslie. I, I know when I was visiting the country, I'll just leave the slide up with some quick stats for you folks as well. Uh, but when I was visiting the country, uh, we toured around with some of the staff members there, um, taking photos and generally felt safe, you know, like it was back home. Um, so definitely no need to fear there um, when concerned about your security and safety in Nicaragua. All righty, Leslie, do you want to talk a little bit about second residency? Absolutely. So that's another question we get a lot of property consultants get asked a lot is about residency opportunities. Just like as in any country, they do change periodically. So we have some great uh, lawyers here in country that we can recommend uh, you to carry on those conversations with. But it's a pretty straightforward uh, process. It typically can take four to six months, sometimes longer. You know, we are, I you know, joke about Nika time and all in time, I believe it's a very well thing. So you definitely want to come with some patience. 
um, requirements. You just have to have proof of financial stability, bank statements, investment portfolios, that, that type of thing. Um, clean, uh, can't talk, clean criminal record. Um, the police clearance, like if you're already living here, then you can do that here or you can do it from your home country. Health insurance options and things, and then a valid passport. Um, they've got different types, so it really depends on what your you know current circumstances are. There's a rentista, there's a pensionado, there's an investor residency. So that's why I really like to do that personal introduction to one of the attorneys that we partner with because they can really get to ask the right questions and find out which one would be best for you. Because some options may work out better and maybe quicker to be able to get that type of residency. So just know that you've got a lot of different options there and we can steer you for that. Awesome. Benefits to venturing off to Nicaragua, you do have access to the growing economy, uh, opportunities for investment and business development. Uh, like I mentioned, we are going to get into some of those opportunities that you can have in just a bit here. Uh, we did mention before that quality healthcare at affordable prices. I'm seeing more and more people, more of our clients asking about this question and what options are available to them. We are uh, equipped to provide you with info on specific um, hospitals that you can venture off to. If you do want some more of that information direct to you, do email us at webinar at ecidevelopment.com and we'll get you that info, of course, and the ability to live in the tropics. I know for the snowbirds up there wanting to escape the cold, uh, it's the perfect time of the year to head down and see a little bit more of Nicaragua. All right, Leslie, do you want to talk a little bit about the taxes? Sure. Yeah, so Nicaragua has favorable tax regime for foreign residents, no tax on foreign earned income. Um, for any residents who spend 183 days or more per year in the country. Um, as far as second residents, they are required to pay property taxes on any real estate that they do own in the country. Um, it's typically about 1% of the property's value per year. And then um, it is a favorable exchange rate, making it an attractive destination for those working to really maximize their wealth with an average exchange rate of one US dollar. I'm um, saying 38.37, that was in 2020. Right now it's about one to 36 quarter of us is the exchange rate here. Awesome, thanks, Leslie. I do have someone mentioning that you're cutting in and out. Um, I'm, I'm hearing you perfectly on my end, but we will send you folks a copy of this recording after this session so that you can go back and listen to the recording. All righty, let's jump into some of the Nicaragua opportunities and learning a little bit about Grand Pacifica Beach and Gulf Resort. So Grand Pacifica uh, is located about an hour and 40 minutes, you'd say, Leslie, from Managua, the capital city. Yeah, it really uh, depends. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah. From the airport, it's about an hour and a half. Um, there's some areas like if you're on certain parts of Managua, you can make it uh, within an hour or two Grand Pacifica. It really just depends on time of day and traffic because in the city, there are some times of day where you have quite a bit of traffic. Absolutely. It is a gated community with 3.5 miles of beachfront property, as I mentioned a little earlier. Uh, really pristine beaches. Um, the turtles, as I mentioned, they come every year to lay their nest there. So there is a part of the beach that uh, we have blocked off for them for their nests. Uh, whether you're looking for a second resident, second home, sorry, um, or that investment type for a return on your investment, there are several many communities and neighborhoods in Grand Pacifica that could suit your needs. Before we jump in into the home types and real estate opportunities, I did want to mention some of our travel packages that we have available. Um, as I mentioned, apart from being a development company uh, focused on real estate, we do focus on hospitality as well and the property management uh, for the home that you're purchasing in the event that you're looking for uh, uh, that as an investment opportunity and, and building out that return on your investment. These are some of the packages that folks have been um, coming to us with, uh, wanting uh, to spend their time at Grand Pacifica and doing a little bit on-site and off-site while in country. 
Uh, I do want to also mention that these aren't the only packages that are available. We do have options available for everybody. So if you'd like to have something customized to you, uh, do let us know again at webinar at ecidevelopment.com. Uh, that surfing adventure package uh, is probably one of my favorites. Uh, I think for folks that um, again are looking to maybe surf for their first time or wanting to catch those waves uh, in the intermediate side of our surf break, uh, this is the package for you. It's for seven days, six nights, includes several beach activities, yoga on the beach, as well as horseback riding and access to the different sport facilities that we have on site, which includes tennis, a volleyball area, football area, um, and many more different sporting activities. Unlimited golfing as well is a popular travel package for our clients. We do have a nine hole course on site. Uh, this tour also includes the Florida Kanye tasting as well as access to our clubhouse. Again, giving you access to the different sporting facilities uh, on site. And Discover Nicaragua is a combination of being on site and off site, touring different historic sites within the country and places like Granada and Leon, like Leslie mentioned earlier, you are able to see, depending on the season, the turtle releases, we will plan special uh, events surrounding that, as well as different beach day activities for you. Okay, last poll here, folks. What is your perfect home type? Let me go ahead and launch this poll. You should see another pop up on your screen. What is your perfect home type when you're looking for real estate opportunities overseas or in general? All righty, I'm seeing most folks are choosing tiny homes and custom home sites. Uh, following that are condominium options. Perfect. So the next couple of slides here will be perfect for those opportunities that you're looking for. Leslie, why don't you let us know about some of the real estate opportunities that we have at Grand Pacific? Absolutely. We have a wide variety of Grand Pacific. We have 2,500 acres there. So if you can imagine, it's really divided up into different communities and they all kind of have their own look and feel. Um, you'll see there in the middle of the San Diego Viejo, that was one of the original communities and it has like the Spanish colonial architecture. It's a beautiful community. Um, and you can purchase your home site and then do a custom build that facility. And then we have our Ava community, which is our tiny homes out at Osageo Beach. And you'll see in my background, that's actually Osageo Beach in the background. It's beautiful um, area. We have our Bella homes that you'll see there, the single family villas. They're right there on the beach. And then the tiny home community is back up. Or so really, it's one of those things I tell people again, just get on a plane, come visit us, let us take you on a tour of the property and really get to, you know, have a feel for those communities and see which one is right for you. Ava is, um, like I said, 200 yards from the ocean. I mean, you can't get much closer than that. We've got 100 homes available, 80 under construction, we've got different models to choose from, one and two bedroom options. Um, and then you can see there in the picture kind of how it's coming together as a community. So it's, it's, that's a great aerial view, really can show you. You'll see there the river off to the side of the community and then it runs into the mouth of the ocean. There. So it's a, it's a wonderful property and that Osachio Beach is just spectacular. Eva is one of my favorite communities in, in all of the different communities that we develop. I've lived in tiny homes maybe almost all my life. And it really gives the sense of, you know, being sustainable, only needing what you really need and having that in your home. And what makes Eva, as Leslie mentioned just now, it's only 200 yards away from the beach, uh, Asuchia Beach. That's where you can hit those novice surf waves <laughs> if you're a beginner like me. Uh, but really, really great opportunity there at Eva. There's just a little bit more about the San Diego Viejo. You can kind of get a feel for the homes there in the picture. Um, they are true custom home sites. We've got you know some different floor plans and things that you can look at or do truly custom for that. So um, it's it's a wonderful community. It's really on the way you drive through San Diego Bay Hill on the way to the condominiums and the, the sea salt restaurant. Um, and we're kind of we hang out at sunset. Everyone hangs out there, so it's a cool idea to be close to. And then of course Bella, like I mentioned, is right there on Osceola Beach. Amazing views from these homes. 
Um, I enjoy, you know, bringing some of our clients. We had some of the clients that had bought a Bella home with us in January and they got to go see it for the first time. And I think they're always, you know, really excited to see how close they are there to the front of that ship. All righty. I do see a couple of questions coming in, uh, but I do want to make an announcement that we are having our EVA construction webinar this February 28th uh, at 5 p.m. Eastern, which we will be giving uh, quite a bit of updates regarding construction and the progress there for the EVA community. We will have our Vice President of Construction joining us along with our construction liaison and answering a lot of your questions regarding the EVA community. So definitely uh, in that follow-up email that we're going to send over to you all, go ahead and register for that upcoming webinar for February 28th. And as usual, do give us a like and follow on our social media. Uh, you can see the handles there, Grand Pacifica, uh, for Facebook and Instagram, as well as if you'd like to keep up to date with travel opportunities in all of our destinations, as well as community updates regarding construction for all of our projects, do give us a follow at ECI Travel on Instagram, as well as ECI Communities on Instagram. And last but not least, uh, we do have our contact information here. Do reach out to us at webinarecidevelopment.com to answer any specific or pressing questions that you may have, um, as well as if you have a QR code scanner, uh, we're also going to send you a copy of this in our follow-up email, but there's our Nicaragua handbook. It is a really great guide on everything that you that we've discussed in this webinar, as well as more uh, opportunities and answers that you may need regarding uh, Nicaragua before you make your travel or investment. And I Alrighty. Will I just want to speak up about this stunning sunset photo. I will take photo cred for that. <laughs> um, I love the sunset in Grand, like Nicaragua, but specifically Grand Pacifica. People are always asking me, Leslie, aren't, don't you get tired of taking sunset photos? I'm like, absolutely not. This is one of the cool ones I took. But I will tell you, like, there is obviously cotton candy skies and all the beautiful pastel colors. Some nights it's like a true vibrant red and orange. They change every single night and they're truly spectacular. It's probably one of my favorite things to do is just chill out and watch the sunsets. That it I believe I've gotten maybe several different sunset photos and videos from you, Leslie, and they all, each time it's different. <laughs> it's really, really beautiful. All right. You Alrighty. Have any questions? Yes, we're going to take a few questions here before we wrap up. This is really intended, our, our Living on Opportunities webinar are intended to be light and very informational on uh, what all you need to know before making your trip over. Uh, but definitely, again, if you do have those pressing questions, reach out to us at Webinar ECI Development, and we will have one of our property consultants uh, meet with you to answer all of your questions. But to take some on for today, uh, what are the approximate prices of the travel packages? So this is dependent on the season. Uh, there are different activities that can be had depending on what time of year you're venturing on uh, off to Nicaragua. Right now is known as the dry season. So there are a lot of activities that can be had. Uh, but to answer your question, prices normally range per person of about 1,005 to 2,000 uh, US dollars per person. Uh, for those seven uh, night packages. All righty, uh, another question coming in. Do the models, do the cost of the models or of the lots or is it just the house? Uh, the total pricing, so we will be able to send you a copy of our info package. Just reach out to us again and let us know what specific community you're looking for and we can get you full pricing, but the full price does include the lot as well as the house. Alrighty, this one, Leslie, can you help me out with it? Uh, it is on the exchange rate that you mentioned for today. Yeah, the exchange rate right now is one US dollar to about 36 quartiles. So it's super easy to figure out and just kind of know, you know, in your head. I was gonna share because people are always asking about the cost of living here. And it's really, really 
really great, in my opinion, from what you know, I was living in Austin, Texas before I moved to Belize, and then of course made my way over here. But this is a recent, I want you to see how long it is. This is my recent spend at La Colonia. See, it keeps going. This is my grocery store receipt. That's a lot of stuff. And it turned out to be like 4,400 and something quarters, which is about $125. So you can get quite, I, I know in the States I couldn't get that much groceries for 100 something dollars. So um, I do really enjoy the cost of living here. I know he said uh, had the average about $1,500, uh, which is very easy to stay within that and reasonable. Obviously, if you love to you know, maybe go out and do more entertainment and that type of thing or travel around, you may spend a little more, but um, it's definitely true to, to that. Awesome. Uh, how safe is it for a single mom and kids? I know you spoke a little bit to that earlier, Leslie, um, if you can reiterate yeah. your answer. Yeah. She knows some single moms that live here with their kids. Um, I'm, of course, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a single dog mom and foster dog mom, but um, definitely there's different areas. Like I said, just come explore the country, see where's the right fit for you. Um, as far as, you know, school options, that's another question we get asked a lot. There are different opportunities um, in Managua for some private schools. There, um, I have friends with kids, they went to the local schools, but then there's a, an awesome program called the Wild Twin Cougars that's near Grand Pacifica, and they have an after school program. So we're involved and really trying to help out with that program as well. So definitely it's a cool environment and it will be a different lifestyle, but I'm telling you, um, and for me to witness the children and the lifestyle that they have here, I really enjoy it. It makes me happy to see, you know, how they interact with the locals and learning the language at a young age. It's a pretty cool experience. All right, let's take two more questions here, Leslie. Uh, one is on financing. Is financing available for the houses? Absolutely. Just reach out if you have any of those questions. We'll send you over the finance opportunities, um, depending on if it's a, a home site or if it's one of the homes. We've got some different opportunities as well. And that's another thing we do, except cryptocurrency. We have financing opportunities as well as obviously cash. Perfect. And last question here for the day. Describe what the rainy season is like. I know you've been there a little bit more than I. I ventured off last year during what I consider the rainy season. Uh, we did have some light showers here and there, but the foliage and, and, and it was blooming. Everything was really lush and, and green and beautiful. Right. Yeah, it's interesting because we really need to say you've got, you know, what we call like the green season and then the dry season. Last year, my first year here during the rainy season, it was it reminded me more of Belize with kind of, you know, the, the tropical rains that come in for a short time. It can rain very intense, but then it's you know usually at that time and then it's you know beautiful and sunny during the day. This past rainy season, it was a little more intense. I thought completely up front. We had a lot more rain, um, some flooding in different areas, you know, outside the communities and stuff. But uh, like you said, it's almost one of those things you, you like the rainy season too because it's just so lush and beautiful everywhere. So um, definitely nothing out of the ordinary that I don't think you would, you know, you're still going to love your time here. We have, we have tourists and travelers that come during the rainy season. Perfect. Alrighty, Leslie, thank you so much for joining uh, this live session with me today. I'm happy to have all of you folks join us on the line. I hope you learned a little bit more about Nicaragua and are definitely planning your trip this year. Uh, we do look forward to seeing you there and showing you around, especially at our property at Grand Pacifica. Any final words from you, Leslie, before we wrap up here? Of course, I know there were some questions we didn't get to, but we will get those questions answered for you. Um, feel free to reach out to me since I do live here. If you've got any specific questions about living here or visiting here, and we'll be sure and get those answered for you. But my advice is just go check those slides. The good news is we have a lot of airlines that have come back into the country here recently. So check out United, American, Avianca. We've got Spirit now. There's a lot of different opportunities and ways to get here directly into Managua. Or we have a lot of guests that sometimes come through Costa Rica through La Liberia Airport. So get on um, your google.com slash flights and see what opportunities there are. We hope to see you here soon. Perfect. Take care, folks, and see you all shortly.